telling you that technology is the difference between success and failure in this environment because the right tech gives you a better understanding of the world and a leg up on the competition. And that's why we wanted to check in with Tableau Software while we're out here in San Francisco. Now, this is a business analytics company that was acquired by Salesforce over the summer for more than $15 billion because Salesforce recognizes the value of anything that helps enterprises harness their data. Last night, I got a chance to check in with Adam Salipsky. He's the CEO of Tableau Software. Take a look. Adam, first time since uh, your company's acquired. Now, I know that Tableau is a formidable part of the new Salesforce world, but this is your first time at Dreamforce. What's your impression? Well, it's big to start with. There are just so many trailblazers here, and the energy is unbelievable. Uh, feels very familiar to me coming off the heels of our own Tableau conference just last week. Okay, so a Tableau conference is introducing people to some of the new things or just something you always have had, and it's going to merge over overall one day with these guys? Yeah, well, Tableau conference is alive and well. We announced we'll be back in Las Vegas next October for our 13th annual Tableau conference where the Tableau community gathers, and we're really looking forward to getting a bunch of trailblazers there next year as well. All right, now, Adam, the one thing is just really bugging me. There's a lot of people tell me Dell, data is the rail, the coin of the realm. You got to have it. Uh-uh. I think it's how you use it, because I've got retailers telling me they know they've got the greatest data in the world, but they're not doing well. What are they doing wrong if they have all the great data and they're not doing well? Well, I think we're, we're really in this data deluge where everyone's inundated with data and having it, having it dumped all over your head doesn't necessarily mean you know how to succeed with it. So what you really need to do is to be able to organize it and manage it, then critically to analyze it. And that's why Tableau exists, to help people see and understand data. Are people data, smart to enough analyze to analyze it? it? Uh, our customers are very smart and uh, we, we, with this leading analytics platform we've built, we've made it incredibly simple and intuitive while at the same time as being uh, powerful uh, to analyze data, whether you're a data newbie or a data rock star. Okay, so when uh, Salesforce bought Tableau, uh, Tableau, uh, obviously this year you made a fortune for shareholders, Salesforce stock went down. I think people had a hard time trying to understand why the two companies should be together, why Mark Benioff couldn't make Tableau. What was unique about Tableau that it made sense for Mark to buy what Adam was, was uh, working on? Well, I mean, Tableau spent 16 years now uh, building an end-to-end -end analytics platform with, with incredibly broad capabilities from data preparation to rich analytics to collaboration and sharing. It's not something that you just replicate overnight. Salesforce has been busy doing you know, many, many other things, including building some really neat, more specialized analytics capabilities, which are alive and well. And I think the combination just makes so much sense. Number one, because Salesforce is going to help Tableau accelerate our existing mission to help people see and understand data. And also, we now get to be part of this customer 360 of Salesforce and get to help Salesforce customers use analytics to really accelerate their digital transformation. Okay, so look, we've, uh, I've met with the people from Lamborghini. Uh, I know the people from State Farm, uh, the Louis Vuitton. Where uh, does Tableau play a role in making those companies have better sales? Well, uh, Tableau is used really wall-to-wall -wall, wall -wall through many enterprises. We have a lot of enterprises who are deploying Tableau to tens of thousands and now even hundreds of thousands of employees, from manufacturing to supply chain to marketing to sales. So we have a lot of examples uh, of companies uh, using us for sales. And Nissan, for example, is helping their dealers be more effective in their sales. Uh, and we just had uh, Nissan up on stage with me last week as well. It's a, it's a great joint customer for both Salesforce and Tableau. So there are many examples in the sales realm. Is it fun? I, a lot of people felt that you would, I mean, there was a betting line about whether you'd stay. Uh, we, uh, I'm the CEO of Tableau. I'm a proud member of the Salesforce management team. Our whole management team, the company's all excited. We're delighted to be here at Dreamforce and we're incredibly excited. Most importantly, what our customers can do with Salesforce plus Tableau. Give me a, a great example of something, of a company, and, and look, there's a lot here of willing to talk about it, where you brought something to the equation that Mark was doing X and you took it to another level. Well, and there's a, a lot of great joint customers. You see them, uh, you see them all over the show. Uh, for example, uh, Southwest. Uh, so a so lot of, Southwest okay. Airlines, sure. So uh, a, a significant Salesforce customer. Uh, but they're so customer focused and they really laser focused on their on-time performance. They had over a right. hundred data sources and it was taking almost a two week lag before they really understood the nature of their on-time performance. With Tableau, they're ingesting data from a hundred different data sources and they now have real, nearly real time, 15 minute lag on understanding the true nature of their customer performance. So true nature of on-time? True nature of... Uh, on-time performance, <laughs> on -time exactly, performance. I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, 
What? It's in a stream force. In stream force. What are you going <laughs> to do? You do? Yeah. Well, Adam, I want to thank you so much for coming on the air, uh, and I'm so glad you stayed with the company. I think it was vital that you did because a lot of people feel you were the heart and soul of what this place is about. Well, we have an incredible team. They've been at it for 16 years, and I'm delighted to be part of Tableau and now part of Salesforce. Well, fantastic. Thank it's you so much to, to Adam. See you. Okay, that's Adam Slipsy, he's president and CEO of Tableau Software. It was something, it was DHA, remember? It was a stock that we recommended for years, and the payoff was huge, and now it's part of Salesforce. Thank you. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer, hashtag mad tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.